Hey guys, I'm doing Skeptic like here, bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to talk about uh, why can't you find a job in IT? Obviously, if you're new to my channel, I do a little bit of everything. <laughs> Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. So today I want to go over why you can't find a job in IT. And a lot of a lot of people that are brand new or people that already have experience, they make this common mistake. So number one for me, and I'm going to say number one is spray and fray the resume so like a lot of people that are brand new to it they typically spray and fray the resume so basically they, they're like i'm gonna i'm gonna put my resume here i'm gonna submit here 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 and that's not good like if you have a resume like it has to be tech related make sure you, you make sure the resume is specifically tech related uh and make sure you're editing that uh, editing that resume so it's very important when you're applying for jobs like don't just you know apply for 100 jobs and then expect someone to call you like some of these job requirements and some of these jobs and jobs you're you're applying for, you may need to tailor the resume. All right. Number two, and people are gonna get mad at me about this one. Number two is you're basically using the same resume for every job. So I see what that means is that you have a resume that you you used five years ago and you're using that same resume. Like if you have a Frankenstein resume, like it's not gonna work. You gotta change your resume. It goes back to the resume. If no one's calling you, your resume needs work. That's basically what it is. Um, number three for me is going to be, again, it's going to go back to resumes. Your resume may be too long, especially if you're brand new. So like someone that's brand new, I always recommend the resume be one page. If you're brand new, if you have experience, two pages is okay. Okay. Um, number four is going to be, uh, which is common in it, it land. I don't know why people do this. It drives me nuts. Number four is going to be having a picture of yourself on your resume or rating your skills. So this is specifically United States, not the UK, not like in Europe. So a lot of people that are brand new to IT, they typically put a picture of themselves. And I don't like that because like immediately people will like judge you based on how you look. So I don't recommend putting a picture of yourself. The other thing is that you should not be rating yourselves. I've seen like people like rate their skills in IT and IT support. Typically like for rating stuff, typically that's done like in coding or software developer stuff, if that makes sense, but not in IT support or sysadmin or network admin. Um, number five is going to be networking. So a lot of people that are brand new to IT, they don't take the time to network or join social events. So nobody knows who you are. Like who's this random guy applying for these jobs? So like I always tell people, it's very important to put yourself out there. Talk to hiring managers, talk to job recruiters. Just network like crazy. You got to network because nobody knows who you are. So you have to make a name for yourself, brand yourself, right? Um, number six, it goes back to number five, is talk to job recruiters. Like there's Robert Half Technology, there's Mitchell Murray, and there's ExecuSearch. Um, there is the Nelson Group. There are so many job recruiting firms out there. So talk to talk to job recruiters. So they tailor your resume. They fix your resume. And they go over your, your, your resume. And they tell you like what job you're looking for. Like, so some job recruiters are good. Some of them are bad. So find the recruiter that cares about you and helps you, if that makes sense. Number seven is you have no certification. So a lot of these jobs may require you to have a specific certification, which is why they're not hiring you. So it's very important that you may be required to have a certification. So sometimes you got to invest in yourself if you want to get a job, if that makes sense. And then number eight is going to be your LinkedIn profile. So a lot of people don't take the time to create a LinkedIn profile, like, and I, and I talk about this a lot, like back in, back in my days or back in my days, I didn't have a LinkedIn profile. I'm like, I don't even, I don't even use LinkedIn. Why is this like, I don't use that at all. Like, why is this necessary? But now you need to have a LinkedIn profile. LinkedIn is so important. Change your profile picture, make sure it's professional, change your banner. You get a, a free banner in Canva, just customize that banner. Make sure you customize your URL, how you get into your um, profile. Make sure you enable the feature section. Make sure you add that experience of what experience jobs that you have. Make sure you put your project work, your GitHub, your website, or your YouTube channel, whatever, on your on your profile. So the LinkedIn is very important. They find you a lot of hiring managers, job recruiters, they go on LinkedIn and look for people. So it's very important. And, and try to connect with people and talk to people. So that's it for me. With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope this helps you out. And that's the reason why you can't find a job. So but um I guess conclusion um yeah don't spray and pray the resume um don't use the same resume over and over again expect to get the, to get different results you know it doesn't make any sense make sure the resume is not too long if you're brand new to it don't put a picture of yourself or don't or don't grade yourself if you're based in the u.s um try to network as much as you can because nobody knows who you are talk to job recruiters you may need a cert you may not need a cert 
sometimes the job that you're looking for is not where you're where you live at. So you may have to apply for remote jobs, if that makes sense. Uh, LinkedIn profile was very important because nobody knows who you are. So create a brand for yourself. With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful Saturday and I hope you have a good day. Take care. Peace. Bye.